Hi everyone, I am feeling a little bit better already. Thank you guys so much for all your patience. Today's field trip, we are going to go at Marshall's and look for the best makeup deal. So hang in tight. So as soon as I have walked in, I can't believe my eyes that I have seen a lot of Becca products from the Chrissy Teigen collection. I personally not a fan of Chrissy Teigen, but you know, I have seen her on Instagram and she seems to be a really fun girl. This is on sale right now for $12.99 and you will be getting four types of lip products. And based on the review, they're not really that great. That's the only reason why I didn't get them, but I still wanted to buy them because of the packaging. It's so cute. And they still have a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters here. We have an Urban Decay eyeshadow. What is this? Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter for $9.99. And we have a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid you know lipsticks and foundations and here is a mac hyper real glow highlighter i actually have used this product i personally own one and i got it as a gratis before i would say that it is pretty good too it's not you know uh, showing the bumps on or the textures on the skin of my clientele and look at what we have here now i was actually so tempted to buy this one, it is only $19.99 at the moment, and could you not, there is no swatch on any of the product that is in here. Or maybe I'm just blind, but look at these. You got some highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush, and the packaging is just so beautiful so next we also have a lot of pixie products if you haven't tried anything from pixie then this would be the perfect opportunity for you to try and they also have a lot of clinique foundations right here but most of the colors is something that doesn't really suit my skin and they also have some makeup revolution products a lot of lipstick queen products now guys if you haven't tried anything from lipstick queen you should because their lipsticks are so good and a lot of Laura Geller beauty products. I think they are, you know, discontinuing at Ulta because from a good source, I heard that they had a little bit struggle when it comes to the finances. But I hope they just don't discontinue altogether because they are such a good brand, especially when it comes to their highlighters. Next, we have another product from Becca, and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Topaz. I noticed that Becca, I'm not going to say that it is a bad brand. It's actually a good brand, but not a lot of people, just based on my experience, not a lot of people buy it. But I know that their foundation is good. I have tried it in the past, and it's amazing. We have a Bobbi Brown right over here for only $8.99. They do have like a lot of variety of products from Bobbi Brown. There's a single shadow. There's a concealer. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll see, you know, powder. So it just really depends on the branch that you go to. Here, you have a lipstick for only $5.99. And they also have a lot of Bare Minerals lip products here. So if you haven't tried their lip products, they are so good as well. And there's a lot of variety of the balm. These are shadow sticks that you can use as a base for your eyeshadows to intensify it a little bit more. Some Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, blushes and then we have the vice urban decay lip kit usually i find these at nordstrom rack now they are here at marshall's for four and 49. i know you guys don't like it when i say four dollars and 49 cents so i'm trying my best to say it just like 4.49 or whatever cents that is and a laura geller foundation powder that i badly wanted to buy because it's in the shade medium and it's so hard to tell if it's swatch or not so i didn't risk it it's not that i can't clean it but, um, you know, you can just spray some alcohol and, you know, just hover a makeup wipe over it. And then it's going to be good. It's going to be sanitized. It's not like, you know, except the lip products. That's the only thing that I feel like I will never buy if, you, if it's opened. And there's a MAC Aaliyah MAC Eyeshadow Palette. Now, the packaging of this one is really cute. But the color combinations, it's something that doesn't really interest me. That's the only reason why I didn't purchase this and i love the lipstick in the collection though and we have some ardell you know nail temporary nails here i don't know what it's called but um 
it's on sale i don't really normally use those but i've heard so many good things about it and we have from the first aid product right over here it's 449 sorry if i'm everywhere i'm definitely trying my best not to get kicked out but um guys i have seen a lot of urban decay liquid moon dust eyeshadows i've tried my very best not to purchase them seven dollars 99 they are so beautiful to me it's very comparable to the stila ones and you have a lot of lip glosses the melted gold from too faced you can see that there are a lot of face products twinkling from clinique this is in the shade biscuit even better glow i think this is more of like a foundation i guess or like a moisturizing tinted moisturizer or something like that you have a lot of l'oreal cushion foundations as well if you would like to try them and then what's this absolute new york just random stuff here um you have a liquid lipstick from lipstick queen i personally own one and it's really good you guys should try it and you have the Kevin Aquan highlighter right over here. They lowered the price for $7.99, $17.99 because last time it was $19.99. And then you have a brush from Smashbox, which is $9.99. Back then, I would, you know, personally buy these types of brushes because they are, you know, a good investment. Now, if you're really into that whole makeup gig and all of that, I don't see why not because some of the brushes, they really do last for a long time. But to me, I love the Real Techniques brushes and the Moda brushes. Those ones, they really do last and they do not shed. So good for its price. And ooh, a lot of ABH stick foundations here. You can literally... If you, if you are a struggling MUA, you can definitely create a kit out of that because there's so many colors to choose from. Now, I wanted to show to you guys what the Moon Dust Liquid Shadows look like. Actually, they are the same price as the Stila, you know, glitter shadows that are in here. They are both $7.99. I've always wanted to try Kiehl's. I've seen my mom use Kiehl's all the time and my auntie, they use Kiehl's. If I have pronounced that incorrectly, calm down, okay? Now I'm going to open this up for you guys. Of course, I'm not going to swatch them. Come on. <laughs> okay, so this is what they look like. I have swatched them in the store, and could you not? They are so beautiful, and I can't even express that enough. But if you want something that is like very glittery, then I would suggest still the Stila glit Glitters. The only reason why I don't buy a lot of those Stila Glitter Shadows is because some of them are a little bit hard to take out from the packaging and some of them are already drying out. Just a heads up on that. You have a Filter First Foundation from Laura Geller. Now, if I only thought that it's going to be here, I could have just bought it here instead of Ulta. But I don't regret it because when I went to Ulta, it was 50% off and I have the 20% off coupon. So it's, it's just right, you know. And you have the Stila Foundations here that has like a concealer on top. If I ever find one that is not open, I will definitely try it and let you guys know my thoughts. Guys, this is a highlighter right here. It's $4.99. It's a liquid highlighter. Now, I know there's like a lot of body glow that is going on right now, but take a look at this one. Before you go ahead and buy the $60 ones, look at this. It's definitely worth a try. I'm so dumb that I didn't buy this. I, I mean, I know I mentioned it into my DIY that I will never purchase one. But then again, like, looking at the price of this one, $4.99. Hello? Anyone there? It's almost like the price of my DIY, honestly. Okay. What else do we have here? We have the Maybelline Urban Light Palette. I have been seeing this every freaking where. It is literally everywhere. $3.99 another pixie product right here and then we have this huge cargo palette i know i mentioned the last time on my video i'm so curious to see what it looks inside i almost bought it because the colors 
in the back of the packaging is very intriguing it's almost like the naked heat now this one is already open so i just told john ray to help me out and assist me so i can open it up so we can see it all together Ta -da! that is not what i have expected let me show you the back packaging this is what i'm talking about it looks so different it is so different okay if they have followed the exact color in the packaging i would definitely buy it and try it but um no but i see i can definitely see someone buying it though because it's like everyday colors which is not bad now i didn't even know that this existed it's 7.99 it's the sophie x in collaboration with makeup revolution and look at this it's beautiful now the brushes they're more of like travel size and the eyeshadows are actually really really cute and you have the laura geller here that was like limited edition around christmas time and one of them is missing only god knows where it's at and it is 9.99 and oh my goodness there's this cute little packet right over here too that we have seen at tj maxx last time and it is 14.99 consists of like a bronzer highlighter blush i guess Ooh, these still exist i collect the real techniques brush crash if i have the chance to see them in the store i would always get them but this time i won't um i'm saving up for something really special so and then lastly we have this bobby brown foundation and that is pretty much it for today guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and if you're still not part of the sassy family make sure you subscribe i upload mondays to fridays no specific time just turn your post notifications on i love uploading everything going to tg max burlington and whatnot i'll see you on monday i love you bye